Move on to the second heat. This is going to be really interesting because KJT, who trains in France now, Solène and Dama is a real talent, and Kat did three of the events at the French Championships because that's where she trained. I got a really close-up view of Ndama doing a, you know, a brilliant uh, pentathlon on that occasion. Very, very good hurdler. The French youngster is the European under-20 outdoor champion, 100 hurdles. So don't expect KJT to beat her here. Well, the French athlete should win this. The question is by how far. Right, long jump continues qualifying, Steve. I can do this. The track is fast and I'm in great shape. And just to put it in perspective, I mean, sub eight seconds is a world-class 60 meter hurdle. Forget being a pentathlete, that's a, that's a world-class performance. So uh, she's not far off it. KJT, you see a personal best 8.18, season's best 8.27. So it just needs something good and solid here. She goes in lane eight, actually, closest to the crowd on this side. There's still nervous moments, so this is the event that can... I mean, all, all of the events have got a, uh, a hint of could go wrong. On your marks. First event up, though, hurdles on your game. Need to be. Quick track here in Glasgow. Big opportunity for KJT to post a good time, but needs to keep Andama close as she can. Andama in lane four. Set. Andama gets a pretty good start. So did Akinaitsu over on the far side. Better going well. KJT going well as well. But Andama just pulling away. Let's watch the clock. 8 1 0. Well, that's a quick time, but it's not as quick as the French athlete would have liked, and I think KJT will be pretty pleased to be that close. Katrina Johnson-Thompson, no dramas, equaling her season's best, and Dharma, 8.09, the quickest of all over the two heats. Well, back to this pentathlon high jump, we've just seen Neve Emerson foul at her first attempt of 1m81. Kat Johnson-Thompson joins the competition, a stutter, though, but made good. Well, that was a nervy jump. She looked as though she was going to run at it. That's the talent of KJT. It's like a policeman, doesn't he, Tony Minicello? First attempt, 181 is good. Right, let's have a look at this. Strides out well, running nicely. About here, she realizes she's too close, a little shuffle backwards, runs on the spot and pops up. It's like a training jump. Very early height. Yeah, Kat Johnson-Thompson, the perfect start in terms of the clearance, but it was a little bit of a salvage. She'll be looking for a much cleaner jump here. One meter 84. First attempt, much better. With daylight between her and the bar. That's more like it. We can see her lifetime best there, 197. Well, we'll come back to Danich's jump. There are two high jump beds. And Johnson Thompson. So Dadic was a foul at this new height of 1m87. No one has gone clear yet. Dadic foul. Emerson foul. Kat Johnson Thompson, the most talented of all athletes present. First attempt, new height of 187. Came down on that, did she? Okay. Tony Minicello's down there with a closer view, but. Just to get his thoughts, she'll be looking at the replay on the monitor at the end of the arena here. There's a large screen, and she'll be checking for herself of what went. Oh, let's have a look at this. From the right side, big stride to gain. Turn to shorter, runs the curve, a little flicky stride there. It's a little bit messy, that run up for me. Razo moving up. Here, let's go back. Here's KJT. 187, also clear. Two athletes have gone clear, both of them in British vests. Johnson Thompson, well, you can't help thinking that that may have been a Emerson. Okay, Johnson Thompson, something to think about. Way clear of that. That's a very nice jump indeed. Both athletes going clear at the second time of asking. The new height of 190 comes next. On your 
And if you can hear me, what are your thoughts? It's interesting. It's absolutely interesting out here. So, Neem Emerson there really just put the brakes on at the point of takeoff. Just put the brakes on, just slowed down and didn't really keep the momentum going. Um, it's interesting, the other pool, there's been some good jumps in the other pool. Nadama has improved her indoor pentathlon best by six centimetres. Uh, the Latvian girl is now jumping off her other leg, has improved her indoor pentathlon best by a centimetre. So, yeah, now we're getting to the business end and the heights. We're seeing some really good high jumping. Well, as you say that, Tony, right in front of you there, Johnson Thompson, first time failure. I think from Katarina's point of view there, just, just easy, she's getting into the rhythm. Sometimes the curves have got a little bit of a corner to them. I mean, par for her, this 190 is really what she needs to stay on target for 4,800, so. Well, Johnson Thompson, the 190 failure, first time of asking, as was Emerson. Emerson's was a better effort in many ways, but Johnson Thompson, a much higher lifetime best when she gets it right. So then, Johnson Thompson, based in France now, French coach. All concludes today, though, over the 800 metres. Johnson Thompson quick out onto the runway. Jumping from the opposite side of the same bed. So then, as you can see there, lifetime bears, 197. So expecting this and more. And has done this year. So recent memories of clearances at higher than this height. Johnson Thompson, 190 better. That's more like it. <laughs> Something of a muted celebration there for Johnson Thompson, but shows her class in this field. No Nafi Tiam, the world Olympic champion, of course. Here's Johnson Thompson eyeing up the bar at 1m93. This to equal her season's best, a lifetime best. You can see there, 1m97. She ran very nicely over the hurdles. First thing this morning, 8.27. This would be a very good continuation of this one-day multi-event pentathlon. Neve Emerson, we just saw go out at 1 metre 90. 193 then, that's really close. Super close, she'll get that. Two more attempts for Johnson Thompson then at this new height. Sights that nicely, just the slightest of skims across the bar was enough to dislodge it. Three more events remaining. Johnson Thompson then, looking more focused. Johnson Thompson, 193, easily. That shows you what shape she's in. Talked about potentially being in the best shape of her life. Well, don't doubt it. That looked very comfortable, bordering on what is world class in its own right in the high jump. In the multi event, Johnson Thompson. Slightly scrappy card there. Second attempt clearances at the last three heights, but good space, good clearance. And the next height, 1 meter 96. Wouldn't surprise us if she goes clear of that as well. Let's have a look how much she gets over this. Well, that is about as comfortable as you ever see at this kind of height in women's high jumping. Very, very nice indeed. Better on the approach, it was much smoother. And I'd like to see that in the early stages more often. It was just too scrappy early on, but she's tied it up well. Well, we're about to find out. Don't we love a major championships to just bring a bit of extra tension and focus 
from a champion, a proven champion of the world last year indoors, looking to add this title. 196, first attempt, gets it! Wow! Very, very impressive stuff indeed. Closing in on her best ever in the high jump. Well, that sends a message to the other competitors. I'm in charge, you're on my home patch. Eyes the bar well there, I like that. Clean on the approach, good on takeoff. Tony down there beside the bar. What did you make of it, Tony? I'll tell you what, that the jump before was better. The jump before was better in terms of the pop. It... So the jump before was better in terms of the vertical, but this was pretty solid. 196. So uh, yeah, that's new territory. It's uh, well potentially historic jump here. British record. Can she do this? Is, this would be remarkable. This would be potentially the story of the champs. So then she's off. Johnson Thompson, 199. Well, she will have two more attempts, and she did chopper that, didn't trust the run. And this is where I was saying, laying down those patterns, those rhythms of the approach in the early jumps, it just will come and unravel you if you're not got it in a groove. Let's have a look at this. So she strides out well, as she has done, but then it just goes a little sloppy, the knees drop, a few little steps come in, it looks less committed. And it's a first-time failure. Two jumps remain. So Tony tense down there next to the bed. What did you make of that? So then, the first a sighter. One athlete left in this competition. It means obviously Katarina Johnson Thompson doesn't have much time between jumps. She needs to just compose herself here. Um, Johnson Thompson, 1 meter 99. Choppy again. That brought a bit of extra impetus, but Johnson Thompson will have to muster some energy. Maybe that jump we saw at 193, the pop that Tony Minicello talked about has maybe just dampened slightly. 1 meter 99 though, everything has to be perfect. The run, the acceleration, the approach, the takeoff foot, the knee drive, the body position after takeoff, everything has to be spot on for her to go clear here. 1 meter 99. Johnson Thompson focused more than ever. She'll need everything she's got to go clear at this historic jump, potentially. 199. Johnson Thompson, that was her best, but not meant to be today. A really good effort, though. 196 and is out in front. Cat Johnson Thompson, third event, shot put. Right, anything over 12 metres is OK. 12 and a half is good. 13's excellent. A little shuffle, back looks tentative. Well, that's a long way. Well, here's the event leader. From one Brit to another, KJT. After that 13.15, you'd have to say, is on world record pace using running parlance. 5,000 points, she has the second best ever. Can she improve? All oh, got stuck in the middle there. Still over 12 metres, though. She'll have one more try. That 13.15 in the first round, her lifetime best. Johnson Thompson, final chance to extend a lead and possibly close in on what might be a world record. Just the long jump and 800 metres to come. 13.15, her best in that first round, a lifetime best so far. Well, it's better than a second round throw.
Well, the pentathlon started early this morning. Cat Johnson Thompson very much in control. So the pressure starting to tell maybe Johnson Thompson can use that to good effect. Won this title four years ago, the world indoor champion last year. She's way out in front. Anything over six meters 60, and the world record is on. Johnson Thompson, fast on the approach. Is it a red flag? It is. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, you wanted her to nail something early on. Lengthens her stride into the board. She'll go over. I mean, just keep that sunny disposition. From one Brit to another, Johnson Thompson off of a foul in the first round. She needs a jump in here just to secure the victory. She's way out in front in this pentathlon. The penultimate event, the long jump, second jump for KJT. Better, much better. Oh, it's better than better. <laughs> it's better than better. It's a jump that's in, it's a big jump. She's just shown that. She's 118 points ahead and goes further ahead. And is one of the best 800 meter runners, if not the best 800 meter runner in the field. So we can add that to whatever this measurement is. 6.53 plus 14, for those of you at home, 6.67, so 6.70 jump. That's a champion in the making. And here's the champion of the world from the indoors. Last year in Birmingham, loves competing on home soil. 6.53, where can she go here? Kat Johnson-Thompson, third round of the penultimate event, the long jump, and that's a big jump, but she knows she pushed too hard. That's what you're supposed to do. You're oh. on the wrong way, you give it everything you've yeah, got, you you've got a the plasticine. <laughs> you don't know much about long jump, do you? No, no you I, should get the plasticine. This is true, but great effort though, just being competitive and getting out there. Hopefully she's just tired there and realizes there was a real opportunity. I think we're seeing a champion elect here. Where? In Katarina, I think. She... In Qatar? <laughs> In Kat Johnson Thompson, here. Oh, that's th that's <laughs> not exactly sticking your neck out. <laughs> she's only can jog around 800 meters. She's she's practically won the thing. Katrina Johnson Thompson's family and support crowd. Then add another eight points. That's 1.3. If uh, and Dharma were to try to finish ahead of the other two. That's uh, Emerson and Ikenisa. You trying to follow this? I've got it all written down in front of me. Dadic, though, is they've got the biggest task to somehow put two and a half seconds between herself and Emerson if she is to get up into second place. Produce a world 19 age best. Women's pentathlon, 800 meters. Steve Backley sitting alongside me. Um, we've watched these 800 meter races before. We've seen Katrina Johnson Thompson kind of languidly go through it, but she may mean business here. Well, she's absolutely taken off down the back straight there, Kat Johnson Thompson. Going to be interested to see how she tackles this. Whatever happens from here, she's had a fantastic day and she is going to be crowned European indoor champion again four years on. And Neve Emerson, well, she's got it all in front of her. Dadic in number five there is a contender. And Emerson just tracking her. Could be Britain 1 2. But Johnson Thompson looks like she's going for it here, Steve. Well, Priner's doing her a favour. We said she's the best 800 meter runner and she just might be helping Katrina Johnson Thompson move through to a quick time. They didn't go too silly. They'd be more interested to see how they've settled down. Look at the gaps just starting to appear, but Emerson keeping an eye on Dadic ahead of her. She's the main danger. So they're going to go through 400 meters in 63.74. Well, that would be right on it, but you'd expect them to slow here. But can Katarina Johnson Thompson find something? Look at this, Steve. Well, this is good to see. She's not hanging around and is really attacking this. She's really taking this on. Kat Johnson Thompson has had a fantastic day. Maybe slipped a little in the long jump, but she's having a go here. Two minutes and seven seconds to break the pentathlon world record. She's got the second best ever. Can she be the best ever?
And she skied with a chance. It would have to be a massive last 200 metres, but she's heading to something under 210 if she can keep this going. Pryna hanging on to her. There's the support and the family. And Katrina Johnson-Thompson wants to go out with a win in this 800 metres. She has definitely got the gold medal in the bag. Neve Emerson at the moment is running ahead of everybody else and will take the silver. So Katarina Johnson-Thompson storming home here. The crowd are on their feet, cheering her home. It's another European title. It's Glasgow goal for Katarina Johnson-Thompson and Emerson stumbling over the line, just makes it. Dadic was about a second or so ahead of her, but Ikenisa might have nicked the silver medal, but has Emerson hung on to a medal? We'll sort all of that out for you as quick as we can. Steve, I was really impressed with Katarina Johnson Thompson. Had a real go at this. She can compete. She did in the high jump, the final round of the long jump. She produced the lifetime best, personal best across the whole day, and then absolutely gave it her all, as did Kat Johnson Thompson. Well, you know, they say just try your hardest. You know, you can't try any harder than either of the Brits there. Left everything on the line. Um, she's prepared to dig deep when it counts. At critical moments, she's able to raise her game. And she will continue to, to, to learn because there is still so much she can do. She's not the finished article. She's hopefully overcome some of the injury problems that she's faced in her early junior years. But what a performer. What a performer.